so hello again in this video we are going to discuss the problem sort the subarray which was educational code for session round 1 to 7 it was the second problem so it was a medium level problem you can see it's easy to medium level problem because it doesn't require any prerequisites and just we need some observation so we are given a sequence a and what the monocarp has done it has choose two integers l and r and we he, ha, he has solved that particular sub subarray of l to r suppose this is a given array and if you choose l to and r phi then after sorting this particular subarray it is forming a dash array which is the sequence from l is equal to 2 to r is equal to 5 is sorted and all other elements are same so we have to find we are given a and a dash and we have to find two such integers l and r which will be the integers which monocap has chosen such that it will transform a into a dash and monocap has done exactly one operation on a so we have to print two values of a l and r in which it uh, consists of longest subarray if there are mo more than two longest subarray then we can print any of them so we will find some sample test case so the first one is given as 6 7 3 4 4 4 6 5 and a dash is given as 3 6 3 4 4 7 6 5 so the observation you can see here is that this is particular a it will have some elements if this is a dash it will have same number of elements right and monocarp is performing exactly one operation from l to r suppose monocarp choose this particular sub segment sub array as this is l and this is r then we know that all the other elements left to l will remain unchanged and all the elements which are right to r will remain unchanged this is a dash this is a and all the elements between l to r will remain sorted right so why not we will try to find from left at which point the elements are same in a and a dash and why not we find from right to particular point in which the elements are same right because all the elements which are not lying in the range from l to r will remain same because he is performing exactly one operation right so if we find this particular l and r range so you can think that this should be our answer but not there can be a sequence like this i will give you the test case in which this particular algorithm will fail like this is three this is 2, this is 10 and all other elements are matching first we will try to analyze this particular uh, sample test case by over this logic so it is matching till this and it is not matching from this it is matching till this, it is matching till this and it is not matching till this now this particular sequence is met mm, at this position from L and at this position till r it is not matching so we are printing 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 2 and this is 5 so what it has done it has just find the range it which it is matching and then it has increased the value yeah so it is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so here in the first test case he the L and R were indicating 2 and 5 so we are returning 
2 and 5 here in the next sequence from 1 2 and 1 it is matching here it is not matching in 2 and 3 so we should return 2 and 3 but there is also one which is uh, forming an in increasing sequence so what we can do we will just find l to r which are not matching and then decrement l till it is uh, increasing sequence and increment r till it is an increasing sequence why so because suppose this is our sequence 1 2 3 4 5 10 and suppose it is 5 it is 5 4 and 6 it is 4 5 and 6 it is 10 and it is 10 so by our logic what we can see we will go from left till it is not matching so this is 4 this is 5 it is not matching so this is our L and from here it is matching it is matching and here it is not matching so it will be R so by our logic we should print L to R but not because why not if we take L is equal to 1 and R is equal to means what if we take whole array then it is also forming the largest array and which is transforming array A into A dash so uh, we have to think some extra like that we should decrement L and increment R till the array A dash is forming an increasing sequence because it will also satisfy our condition like we will decrement L till it is a dec increasing sequence like 1 and 2 and R we will increment till it is a increasing sequence it will go till 10 so we will print 1 and 5 In the same logic from 4 to 2 and 1 we will find L and R where they are matching so L will be 2 and R will be 3 but we will de but if we try to decrement 2 2 1 and 2 1 2 so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so this is L and this is R so if we try to decrement L till it is a increasing sequence we can't decrement L because 2 is greater than 1 so it will remain as it is and we can't increment r as it is the last sequence so we will print l is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3 so this was the logic behind i will show you the code i have taken input and find if a sequence is equal to b sequence then we will print 1 1 to n and otherwise we will initialize two variable l is equal to 0 and r is equal to n minus 1 and then find the particular starting and ending point at which it is not matching till here we have find the l and r and we are decrementing l till it's a increasing sequence and incrementing r till it's a increasing sequence and at last we are printing l and r so this was the solution to this problem i hope you like it if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section Thank you so much.